Guys, Matt here, Country Song Teacher. Hope you're doing well. God's doing huge things in your life. I don't know what day you're watching this, but maybe if you're watching it when I'm first doing it, Christmas is coming up. Maybe you thought about learning guitar. Maybe someone you know plays guitar. And you thought, and you thought maybe it'd be cool to know. I thought I would do this video to kind of hopefully be an encouragement to you all that you want to learn this instrument. It's so much fun. I'm going to give you kind of four, four tips for someone who's thinking about learning guitar um, that maybe can help you, like I said, encourage you along the way. The first one is you don't have to know a whole lot to be pretty good on guitar. That's the beauty of this little puppy here. And if you follow, if you, let's say you've never followed my lessons. Well, what I try to come across and show you during my lessons on YouTube here is you can pretty much play 90% of the songs, whether it's praise and worship, country, that kind of thing by locking to the two bottom strings and going G, just slide them down to C, slide it down again for D, they're right there for E minor. So just, you got the blue jeans, painted on top, everybody wants on a Saturday night, she got the blue jeans, living the same, so I didn't want a minute, did she pour it out? But I'm gonna be somebody, if I had to, to, So, maybe you're not familiar with this. Each of these little squares is called a fret. You have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. The two little dots, twelfth fret. So you got six strings, all these frets up and down the guitar. It can, and you got, it can look very confusing. And a lot of times, if say you go to go to a concert or at your church or something, you see someone down here and they're doing all these parts and these scales back and forth, all the stuff that your boy here doesn't know how to do. That's okay. So you might think, man, I can never learn that instrument. I just, my, my brain doesn't work that way to do all that fancy stuff. And a lot of that's called lead guitar. I know very little, basically zero about lead guitar. But it can look very confusing. Like how do people even memorize this, the fretboard and all these things up and down? How do you know when to play what note and how long to play it? How to pick down here, two things. Matt, I'm not coordinated. How do you do that? So it, it can be very intimidating. But what I try to explain during my lessons is you can do some very, very simple things. Like I said, but just, I've got two four-chord songs. It's a shameless plug here. I've got two four-chord song books that are, so 40 songs each, 80 songs, that you can put 80 popular songs just going. And you said, Matt, maybe that's not the voice you sing in. That's what this little puppy comes in for. It's called a capo. You can clip it on and play the same four chords. time you clip this little capo up a square it raises the song a half a step so every two two frets it's a whole step so a to b and c to, and so forth so that's the first thing i tell people is you don't have to know all this crazy stuff to be pretty good on guitar the second thing i try to stress this uh but probably not enough your guitar makes a big difference i wish this wasn't true guys but it's no different than if you had an old beat up car or you had a Mercedes. One's going to drive smooth and sound very quiet, be easy to drive, and one's going to da, 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 beat around and make noises, all this stuff. I wish it wasn't so true, guys, but it's true, but it's very true with the instruments as well. I don't know how many times I've, I, when I used to teach people in person, I would go to their house and try my very best, but it just sounded awful um, because their guitar was so cheap. The guitar strings would be really, really far away from the neck. They'd be all beat up, rusted. You trying to, you sitting there, got your tuner. You can't even get the strings tuned. You're trying to play a chord. It's like, it sounds like this. And I'm like, man, that's just a twenty dollar cheap guitar. So you, you, especially I see these little young guys and girls 
have all this passion. They're so excited to play. And their guitar is just so cheap. I'm like, there's really no way to get good on guitar with that cheap guitar. Uh, so if you're really, really passionate, you say, man, I want to learn this instrument. I can't recommend enough. You you need to get a pretty nice guitar. I tell people, any Taylor guitar, obviously. My Taylor GS Mini, I think, was 500 bucks. So that's pretty expensive, whatever, but it's a great guitar. This is a Blue Ridge uh, BR40. I'm not, my mother had this one, but I love the sound of this guitar. Uh, these might be five, six hundred dollars. Also, uh, I've guitar. I have, I've had some Yamaha guitars, some different ones, three and four hundred dollars. It sounded really good. But you start getting little fifty and sixty dollar guitars. It's going to be super, super hard to make it sound good. And that's just being real. Because I want, I want you all to be encouraged. So maybe right now you're watching this, or you just got an eighty dollar guitar, and you're thinking, man, I just can't make it sound good. So that's the second thing. The guitar does make a difference. The third thing is just it gets easier. Trust me, guys and gals, when you're first learning, trying to get your brain to tell this hand which fingers to press, I mean, which strings to press, while getting this hand to know to go down, down, up, down, up, and then switch here while you're down, 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 down. That's a lot going on, a lot of stimulus, a lot of things. Uh, stimulating things that your brain's trying to do, like what what I do, this hand, this this hand, this hand, do I finger pick? What's going on? It gets way easier. Trust me, I was awful for for a number of years, and a lot of times I would even do like, and this is what I tell people, kind of a five minute practice session, the few things, chords, set it down, go do something. An hour or two later, pick it back up. Five minutes, it's just that repetition. Go do something else, come back, play ten minutes. Instead of just one hour long session, just doing a little short. Just time under tension, like they say in weight, like in the weightlifting terms, time under tension. Just more and more, just getting under there, getting under there, get, get behind the guitar, work on your chord changes, even they sound a little rough. Just keep at it, and so forth. And you'll, you'll just slowly start to see it clicking. And you're like, all right, now I can get this. So don't think it's always gonna be the speed at first. At first, your brain's telling the hand what to do, and the hand's just like, no, nah, I ain't doing that. Um, so, pretty tricky. And the last thing, I always tell people too, your fingers will not always hurt. You think right now when you press this guitar strings, it's like, man, my ends of my fingers hurt so bad. There's no way. My hands are just different. I used to hear them all, all the time. Like I said, when I talk to people in person and they think like, it's always going to be this way. My fingers going to be hurt, that kind of thing. But trust me, your fingers will get calloused again after you do those mini sessions. Same as the weight room when you grab a barbell or something, getting calluses on your hands. Your fingers get hard at the end, and you can play all the time. Uh, I, I will say, if, you get, if you're in a cold room, it kind of hurts a little bit more. Uh, sometimes if I've been outside a while, I'll come play my guitar. My, my ends of my fingers will hurt a little bit. But if you have a normal temperature room, that kind of thing, your guitar is in tune, your guitar is decent. All right, guys, that's all for today. I want to encourage you, learn this instrument in 2022 or whatever day you're watching this. It's fun. It gets easier. And you can, uh, come here. Guys, it'll help you get a girlfriend. I'm telling you. I don't know what it is. My wife said when she first saw me playing guitar, it's when she thought it was kind of cute. So remember that one. I'm just saying that's for free. All right, guys, check out the website, countrysongteacher.com. All one word, countrysongteacher.com. Like I said, if you just know those four chords, I got four chord song books, beginner DVDs. I'm burning in the office like crazy for Christmas, that kind of thing. So all that good stuff on the website. Go check it out, countrysongteacher.com, and I'll dance to your next wedding. Smash the like button. Let's go.